Hi, I'm Donna Drake with Live It Up, and we are here with Red Touch Media. And with us on set is Dickie Smothers. Welcome to the show. Hi, Donna. I'm very happy to be on the show as a newly liberated ex-couple. Yes, you were in a couple for a long time. Yeah, over 50 years with my, uh, my couple, my brother, Brother Tom, the Smothers Brothers, and we ran the course. Tommy really wanted to, to retire probably a half a decade sooner, and we retired from touring together in 2010 at the Orleans Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada, May. And it was such a ride, and we, we parted with such love. We, we came through that trial. It's, it's like a, working comedically as a team's like being married, a lot of fighting and no sex, so, sort of like an old marriage. But you don't want the sex part. The hard part is not the sex part of marriage, it's getting along as a couple. And uh, we had to go to couples counseling a few times to, to learn how to speak to one another. And we did, and we had such a great time. And, and today I walk around, and uh, I live in Sarasota, and I'm sitting, pe people come up no matter where I am, time and again, with a big smile on their face, excuse themselves, don't want to bother me, and say, can I share something with you? And it gives me such a joy to look at them and, and hear what they have to say. I wish I could have a little camera. And because when they share, when your memories share good times, your brain doesn't know you're not there. You're, the brain is there again. And guess what happens? You take out all the mediocrity, the uninteresting, the boring, and you make one happy memory. And that's what they give to me. Or how it affected their family, their kids. And sometimes I have people, they're getting older now, because they'll say, my dad and I used to watch you together, and he's no longer here, and you were his favorite show. So there's all levels, and uh, to be part of that and that history, it gives me such a joy to be out on my own. It's like, I tell people, it's like leaving a marriage, there's death, divorce, or you just run the course and you hug each other and say, thank God I married you and had that time together, because I grew and you grew, and it's just time to, to go out on your own. Well, congratulations okay. for that. I mean, that's a big step for you, right? I mean, yeah. you've been together. Who's, who's older? Tommy's older, and I played the serious one. He played the dumb one. That's a simplistic story there, but he was not. And he was the driving force. He was the passion. Uh, our, our incursion to social and political media in a, in a prime time uh, variety show back in the 60s was his heart. He was the soul. We didn't start the war. Of Vietnam. We didn't start civil rights. We were at the scene of the accident. 1968 Newsweek in their magazine said that was the year that defined America today. 68. And we just happened by luck to have a prime time variety show on the most watched hour of the week. Opposite Bonanza back on CBS. Well, I'll tell you, our television uh, station at home was tuned to you. We weren't watching Bonanza. On occasion, we'd watch Bonanza. Nothing wrong with Bonanza. Yeah, today you could get, have it all. But the thing is, I backed Tommy everything he did, and he hired uh, writers. Uh, the third year, we got two famous guys, Steve Martin and Rob Reiner. And we know those names. Yes. <laughs> and they, they didn't shape the show, but they came in about the time uh, Tommy uh, was really pissing off CBS, basically. And looking back, we could have stayed on longer by what he did off the camera in dialogue with CBS. Be reasonable to hear what they have to say. Don't give up our rights to be creative. But he was so intractable, and that's what you would do with youth. You, you're not made to compromise. And he didn't, and I'm okay with that. And I'm proud of the show, but what, what the unknown benefits of being Dickie Smothers is that the boomer generation mostly, when they think of the name, it's like an old beloved product that they have. It's true, like a trusted brand. That's right. Now, my risk today is to go out and I'm selling, a, it's called, I have a new show out that we're selling here at NAPTI, and it's called A Minute with Dickie Smothers. And it's, uh, we intend to sell it to the news departments as I'll be a stringer reporter that does a segment twice a week or three times a week on their show. They throw it to Dickie. Hey, Dickie, here you are. And our, my logo comes up. I said, hi, I'm Dickie Smothers, and I'm not dead yet. That's my first one. <laughs> you know? Or I'll do things like, if you're happy, tell your face. That was so adorable. I'm not dead yet. I'm yeah. not dead yet. Uh, or happy, tell your face. Things like that. Little wisdoms that I've gotten for my lifestyle. Because I've seen the good, the bad, the ugly. I've had, been, had four marriages, not on purpose. But 
the consistency was Dickie has not grown up yet. My first wife unfortunately passed away, and before she uh, went, she was talking to a friend, and she said, "How's Dickie doing?" She said, "Oh, he's he's okay." He said, uh, "He'll eventually get it." And she was wiser Aww. than I was, and I got it, but I had to sober up. And then, so 1994, I I went to rehab before it was really hot. I I was working great. The thing is, you could have a lifestyle that slowly gets into your work, the quality of your work. And the Lindsay Lohans, the Justin Beavers, and those, they're not the only ones. They're just the ones right now that I'm thinking of. They may not get through it. And they to, to, to get your act together personally in front of a, in a fishbowl where everybody's commenting and making bets and your friends don't know what you're going through. They don't, no matter how much they love you. They don't have a clue. I hope they get through. I did. I had great support. And that's when my life starts. You might be very good then at giving people, do you know what I'm saying? Like you've been in the industry for a long time, you've gone through all the challenges and history repeats itself. So maybe that might be one of the ways that you would like to reach out to others because you know, obviously you're on a great track now with this new interstitial that you're creating. Well, that's, that's I think you gotta be authentic. People can tell when you're not authentic. And I am, I'm an authentic Dickie Smothers. I'm not the same guy that my brother said, at college, let's learn some songs so we could sing in a sorority for the sororities and maybe meet women and get free donuts. I mean, free donuts. Man, we were starving back then. <laughs> donuts, anything. Uh, I've grown up. I've grown up, and it it has not gotten in the way of my fun. It's increased the joy of my life, and I just look at things philosophically. And and I in, in a minute and a half, the old product that the boomers will smile about. When they hear that I'm going to be on their news, their local news, uh, two or three times a week, I know they're going to want to watch. And I just hope whatever I'm saying and, and sharing, I'm not trying to tell them what to do. I'm telling them what I did. I hope they'll find it interesting, a little bit humorous when it's supposed to be, and will still bring a smile on their face and say, I want to be like that uncle they haven't seen for 30 years and and they, like, you're the little girl and you see me, Uncle Dickie, you're back, and I love you still. You are so neat. You didn't disappoint me. I don't want to disappoint anybody, but I'm being true to myself. I love it. I think it's wonderful. I think courageously stepping out, doing your own thing, even though your brother and your partner didn't want to do it with you. You know, so kudos to you, and I wish you all the best and a happy journey. And you're very nice to talk to, Donna. Aww, you're lovely. Thank you. So let's do it again. I'd love to. Okay. Red Touch Media and Live It Up would like to thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's Dickie Smothers. Yeah. Woo! Go, Dickie! Yay!